Hi everyone. This video explains how to use the equipment list sheet. It contains two chapters, operation and tips. Use the video progress bar to skip to any topic. Note that this video supplements the quick start guide video, which explains each step of the estimating process and describes system standards for sheet layout and handling. If you have not viewed the quick start video, please do so before viewing this one. Written documentation about the topics mentioned in this video is available on the support website. Click on the knowledge base command in the Ironworks toolbar to access it. If you want our help building a master estimate, playing what if games with your fleet's composition, or producing charge rates for a complex job, or a special client, contact us using the consulting page. Now, let's review the operation of the equipment list sheet. The equipment list sheet is used in step 2 of the process of building a fleet employment cost estimate from scratch. Each step of that process is covered in the quick start guide video that is available on YouTube on the Ironworks ECM channel. The purpose of the equipment list sheet is to identify the properties of the machines whose employment is modeled in the active fleet employment cost estimate. Machine records added or deleted from the equipment list are automatically added to or deleted from all sheets in Ironworks. Machine records, which are contained in the rows of the equipment list sheet, represent one employment case for one specific machine. Machines are identified in Ironworks by their equipment numbers. One machine record is all that is needed for Ironworks to calculate a machine's employment cost, resource requirements, and charge rate for the rate period. Any number of machine records can be set up in the equipment list for the same machine. This way, you can quickly produce charge rates for the same machine for different employment cases. To do so, copy an existing machine record. Then, edit the associated cost factors to reflect the subject employment case. Machine properties contained in the columns in the equipment list sheet, define the nature of the listed machines. Closely related machine properties are grouped for easy navigation into five sets, machine identification, classification, location, administration, and mechanical properties. Machine records can be filtered to view only those machine records with like properties. For example, if you want to assess the settings in the equipment list for machines in a certain state, Filter them using the Filter button in the heading of the USA State column. The machine record key property is calculated by Ironworks using the equipment number and the physical order of the subject machine record in the list. It serves as each machine record's unique identifier within Ironworks. The Equipment Number field is the identifier used to manage your equipment. The Equipment Number column is used to copy or delete new machine records. As you saw earlier, this is done by selecting any number of cells in the Equipment Number column and then right-mouse-clicking to open the Equipment List Change dialog. The Make and Model fields are linked. Once a make is selected from the library, Ironworks limits the list of valid models to just those associated with the selected make. Ironworks provides editable make model lists in its library file. Add, delete, or edit those values by right-clicking in the field to display the edit library form. The type, category, and class fields are linked the same way. However, because equipment class names vary greatly between fleet owners, only the type and category lists contain suggested values. 
As with all validated values, you can add, delete, or edit type, category, and class names by right-clicking in the field to display the edit library form. The cost recovery method field is used to specify how you plan to recover the cost of the subject machine when it is employed on your jobs. If the charge rate option is specified, both a total cost and a charge rate is calculated. If the non-pay equipment option is specified, only a total cost is calculated. No charge rate is calculated because in practice non-pay machines are not charged directly to the jobs that employ them. Instead, a non-pay machine's cost contributes to fleet overhead, which is recovered by burdening the charge rates of those machines in the fleet whose cost recovery method is set to charge rate. Typical examples of non-pay equipment include mechanic trucks, parts vans, and fuel tanks, though any machine can be assigned a non-pay equipment designation. The Job Cost Estimating System Resource Rate Code is used to automatically produce a file containing employment weighted average charge rates for use in your job cost estimating system for bidding purposes. Likewise, the Job Cost Accounting System Job Charge Rate Code is used to automatically produce a file containing employment weighted average charge rates for use in your job cost accounting system for cost tracking purposes. The set of mechanical property fields describes the mechanical nature of the subject machine. All of these properties are automatically displayed in the machine employment cost estimate to help you value the associated cost factors. Mechanical properties have no direct effect on the calculated cost of a machine's employment, except the lifetime employment at rate period start date property. It is used to specify a machine's hour meter reading at the beginning of the rate period and thus affects overhaul and preventive maintenance timing and all associated cost calculations. Commands available in the Ironworks toolbar associated with the equipment list are in the Machine Records group. The Add command adds a specified number of blank rows to the bottom of the equipment list so machine records can be added from scratch. The delete command deletes a specified set of machine records from the equipment list. The reproduce command opens a form for input of criteria for copying machine records from other fleet employment cost estimates to the currently active one. To operate it, simply specify the source estimate and the filters needed to quickly identify the machine record of interest. Once copied, the new machine record's cost is automatically recalculated using the Active Estimates settings. Of course, you can edit the new machine record, at any time, as you see fit. The Edit command opens a form for the selection of the machine record and the data points that you want to edit. Once selected, you can edit any variable value by clicking on it in the list of field names and then specifying a new value in the field provided. Cost Factor Value Guidance is automatically provided while you are editing a machine record. The reported statistics for the then-selected cost factor are produced by Ironworks cloud-based machine catalog. The edit form can also be used to add new machine records in two ways. You can either copy existing machine records. Or, you can add new machine records from scratch using the respective form command buttons. The multi-edit command opens a form for editing one variable value, for many similar machines, simultaneously. For example, the cost of rent, for all machines in the equipment list sheet of the same model, located in Indiana, can be edited at the same time. To operate it, specify the filter criteria for identifying the machine records of interest by first selecting a machine property group and then double-clicking the machine property of interest associated with that group. Note that you can apply multiple filters. Each successive filter produces a subset of the last. Once the machines of interest are identified, specify the new value and apply it to the matching machine records.
you can do so by either inputting a value or selecting from the cost factor value guidance that is automatically provided. Note Ironworks automatically navigates to the selected sheet and property group so you can monitor the automated changes. Three sheet commands are embedded in the equipment list for quick access. With them, you can add, copy, or delete machine records. To operate them, place your cursor in the Equipment Number column, then click the Sheet Command button of interest. Now let's review some tips for using this sheet. Tip 1. Limit the number of machine records to suit your computer's processing power and your willingness to wait for cost calculation results. A well-equipped PC with dual processors and 32 MB of memory can calculate the modeled cost of about 1,000 machine records per minute. Tip 2. To build a basic model of fleet employment that forecasts a fleet's monthly cost and resource requirements and calculates a charge rate for the rate period that recovers all modeled costs, set up just one machine record per machine. Tip 3. To build an advanced model of a fleet that specifies different employment cases for certain machines, Set up one machine record for the first case and then copy and edit the copies as needed to reflect the other employment cases of interest. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.